Hi everyone, welcome back to another travel video. This time, I spent two weeks with my family traveling across Japan. With so many amazing locations to feature, this video will be the first of a multi-part series documenting our experiences, as well as some travel tips to help you plan your next Japan adventure. After arriving in Tokyo, the first stop on our list was to explore the mountainous regions of Nagano Prefecture, where we would visit snow monkeys and the sacred shrine, before making our way to Kusatsu Onsen, one of Japan's most famous hot spring towns. We would then head southwest to explore the city of Hiroshima, before returning to Tokyo. We decided to spend the first two days of our trip in Tokyo in order to rest and recharge as we were pretty tired from our midnight flight. For our first meal in Japan, we found this small ramen shop just next to our hotel. We tried both ramen and sukemen. The soup was bursting with flavour, served in generous portions and was an excellent value for money. Our first stop was in Soji Temple, a popular Buddhist temple located in Asakusa. Leading to the temple is the Nakamise Dori shopping street, filled with shops selling delicious snacks and various souvenirs. those looking to get a view of the temple and shopping street from above, the nearby Asakusa Cultural Tourist Information Center has a special viewing deck on the 8th floor where you can rest your legs while enjoying this panoramic view. That evening, we headed to Shibuya for some exploring and of course, more ramen. Shibuya is home to the iconic Shibuya Scramble Crossing, said to be one of the world's busiest intersections, and it's easy to see why. There were huge crowds of people flooding the crosswalk each time the pedestrian lights flashed green. It is truly a sight to behold and a must visit if you are in Tokyo. we boarded the Hokuriku Shinkansen, bound for Nagano Station. We selected Nagano as our base for day trips to the Snow Monkey Park and Togakushi Shrine. 
as our arrival coincided with New Year's Eve, the city was pretty quiet with most shops closed. If Nagano isn't on your itinerary, you can still explore these beautiful spots as day trips within a few hours from Tokyo. Today, we are taking off a dream destination from my bucket list, and it's also the place we're most excited about, the Snow Monkey Park, home to the famous Japanese macaques, known for their almost human-like behavior of bathing in hot springs. We opted for the Snow Monkey Pass, which turned out to be more affordable than buying round-trip express bus tickets with entry fees. You can easily purchase them right at Nagano Station. Next day trip from Nagano is Togakushi Shrine, a revered site on Mount Togakushi that encompasses five Shinto shrines. Given the demanding nature of the hike, we chose to visit just the Okusha Shrine, renowned for its pathway lined with majestic 100-year-old cedar trees. Togakushi is known for its famous Togakushi Soba, which is made from locally produced buckwheat flour. We stumbled upon this charming restaurant that served really phenomenal soba noodles. They were incredibly delicious, especially when paired with their crispy tempura. The restaurant's interior was super traditional, and best of all, it wasn't overcrowded.
thank you for coming along this journey so far, and stay tuned for the next part in this series. <laughs>